I'm working with an Arduino Mega 2560, and when I connect it up to an LCD 1602, I'd like to see if the output is what I expect. Now, one can manually just look at the display and see if that's correct, but that's not very good from the point of view of an automated test. What I would like to be able to do is actually test the device and see if it's outputting what it should. And one way to do that is instead of sending the output from the Adreno to the actual display, send the output to another device and actually read the pins on that other device. Here I have two boards, Adrenos. I've taken the pins on the one that's running a simple Hello World program, and I'm jumpering them over to equivalent pins on a second board. On the first board, I'm running just a simple program where I set the cursor to the beginning, output the word word hello on the first line and the word world on the second line. That is just very simple output and it would show on the LCD. In my second program I'm reading these pins. I've set up a function that reads the six pins that I need, puts them into a byte, stores that byte into a ring buffer, and I've set up an interrupt so that when the primary board signals that it's filled up a command or data and it's ready for it to be used, then I will get a signal and I'll get an interrupt. I'll read the pins, add it to my ring buffer, and then in my loop, I'm going to go through, look at each byte that comes in, evaluate it, determine what operation it would have done on the display. So I'll upload my program to read the pins, and it tells me that it's going to read pins 2 to 7 as R, S, E, and 4 to 7 of a 1602 LCD. Then I'll upload my Hello World program. You can see gets first all zeros, which is not a valid command, and I presume that the LCD is ignoring that. Then it has setting 8-bit mode three times, then it sets the 4-bit mode. It sets display on, cursor off, blink off, clears the display, sets some other things, and then does some more setup, and finally sets the location to the first column, first row, puts out the word hello. Then it sets the location to the second row, first column, and puts out the word world. So here I have code running that reads the pins to see if I've actually output exactly what I want to output.